There's no cheese. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> please excuse the randomness of the intro. Um, I was actually already started this video. I was going to review this gadget here called the Fun Doodler, a cheese gun. Um, but I've just noticed it's got an American thing on it, and it. The heck is going on? So I've just ordered a step-down converter for the voltage. We are not making the grilled cheese toaster mistake again. Oh, it's on fire. But I've got the urge to film and I'm thinking to myself, uh, I went out again to get some cheese. It'll make sense when I do that video, don't worry. While I'm in the supermarket, I'm like, I know, let's make a, a loaf of Snickers. <laughs> because that's the sort of thing my life has become. So I'm gonna get rid of that, we'll put it in a box for another day. And instead, I'm gonna get a loaf tin. I've no idea if this is gonna work, but let's try and make um, a loaf of Snickers. So what I'm thinking as the loaf is almost perfect uh, for a bar shaped mold. So we could probably make an emergency birthday cake. That's where I'm going with this. Um, I'm gonna line the base, uh, which is gonna be the top with chocolate and the outer sides, and then we'll fill it and make it upside down, then coat it in chocolate again. So, let's melt some chocolate. <music> 30 second glass, stirring in between. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it moving a little bit. And we are gonna add a little bonus ingredient for this for extra Snickersnessness. Let's get it melted. Ah, oh, there we go, look at that. Look how smooth it is. Make sure you use a spatula to scrape the sides and the bottom, get it all consistent. Speaking of smooth, smooth peanut butter. Two big old dolloped tablespoons of that in there. Ah, oh, go on. Can't remember, but I think Snickers do have peanut butter in the chocolate anyway. I'm not sure. I don't tend to analyze it when I eat them. There we go. Make sure the peanut butter you use is smooth, because if you go for the chunky stuff, you'll end up with like a really knobbly uh, looking chocolate bar on the outside. Oh my gosh into there. Now chocolate is actually really strong once it's set. So it's going to give me a really nice frame to hold together the caramel and the nougat. But what I will do is start to get my spatula like that and brush up the sides to kind of create walls. Now at the moment it's slightly still warm so if I add it to the fridge for about five minutes or oh, the freezer uh, we can then start lifting it again and it should cling a bit better. And the freezer is going to be used quite a lot today if this all works. Ah, oh, got chocolate on there. Ah. Obviously, we're making this upside down with the shape of the loaf tin. It's slightly narrowing at the top, so we're going to flip reverse it once we're done. Let's see. So we've effectively done the sides and the top there. Uh, the next layer will be the nutty caramel, which will get really, really hot. So we should make that now so it can be room temperature and then we'll add it in so it won't melt the chocolate too much. Otherwise, if you pour it right in, it's just gonna become some crazy thing that I'm sure will taste good, to be honest. Bit of a lie, that's been like two minutes in the freezer. I've just got this out. That has almost set. Oh my gosh. You can see that's much thicker now. Look, as I'm lifting that up and we want that, we need that off the bottom. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really thick top and not as much strength on the side. So let's, let's keep going. If I add the little bit of leftover chocolate from before that's probably called a teeny weeny bit, because it's hitting cold chocolate, it should help cling a bit more as well. Hello. <laughs> to make our caramel layer, I've got loads of toffees there. You can do it from scratch with sugar if you want, but just by melting down a toffee, or in some countries they sell caramels already that you can just melt down. Uh, we're gonna use it with toffees, cream, and peanuts. But first of all, we do the toffees, which I've got a lot of, I'm praying that they're not individually wrapped. Oh my gosh. Individually wrapped toffees. So I've got eight bags to go. Ah. This is really where I could do with you having some sort of peeling skills, mate. Hey, why have you got out of claws? The last one. Oh, I do not want to do that again. So what I'm going to do is take these toffees. It's going to take a little while for these to break down. We're getting it onto a medium heat. And in my hand here is some double cream. Uh, well, not in my hand, in a jug, obviously. I can't hold fluids with my bare hands. That would be amazing if I could. That's going in and it's going to help break it down a little bit and make it fluidy and give it that sort of caramelly texture. Meanwhile, just to show you, because I don't want to over-freeze it, really. <laughs> Look at that. 
<laughs> Look, Boston. It's solid as a rock, mate. Just by heating it, the cream is really breaking down. It's finding its way through the gaps, pushing that warmth into the toffees. And you can see we're getting that caramel sort of vibe already. Look at that. So we really want to get it a little bit smoother. Do keep mixing it because you do not want to burn your pan. I'm not coming around your house to clean it. Sorry. I don't offer that service yet. But other than that, this is looking brilliant. <sighs> do not touch or be enticed to lick this or prod it in any way other than an with an implement like a wooden spoon or a spatula. It's very, very hot indeed. So in go the peanuts, 200 grams of these. I might have made too much, but I don't care. There's so much more we could do with this. Ah, oh, yeah. Make sure it's all nice and coated. And that, see how much movement there is in it because it's still so warm. It should cool down. We want to get it down to at least room temperature. So it will hit, it will slap the surface of our chocolate and sit there looking gorgeous. In the background, the caramel is just coming down to room temperature. It's calming down, it's had its tantrum, it's doing its thing. So once that's all right, we can put it in with the chocolate, but we might as well go on. What am I doing? It's way too close. Hello. Uh, we are gonna do the nougat layer, and there's loads of ways around that. A really simple way is by using marshmallow. No egg whites or anything like that, crazy stuff mixing going on. Marshmallow. Now I grabbed these in a little bit of a rush. So, um, <laughs> Not really proper, uh, authentic Snickers going on because we've got some pink marshmallows as well, but I, I don't mind that. It's all good. I'm wearing a pink t-shirt. Butter. And again, I'm gonna go with two uh, big old dollops, kind of like heaped tablespoons of the peanut butter. That should make the nougat. So what we'll do, into the microwave on 30 second blast. That is not gonna need that long because marshmallows, they kind of go Wah! when they're cooking in the microwave, particularly they expand massively. You might have the marshmallow man from Ghostbusters going on in a minute. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's great. All right, there you go. Uh, the peanut butter is in there. The marshmallow, oh, look at that. Oh, you beautiful thing. So let's use the heat of the marshmallow to mix through the butter and the peanut butter. Just giving it another quick warm up in the microwave. My goodness, this cools down quickly. Oh, that is good. All right, so I've got my chocolate shell out of the fridge. This is still nice and cold. Uh, the caramel is at room temperature now. And as you can see, it's a lot thicker. Oh, look at that sitting in there. So it's gonna hit that chilled bottom, which should immediately cool it down even more so, which is great. And I just got some caramel on my microphone. <laughs> That's on there with a load of melted chocolate from previous videos and also some silicon from the uh, giant bunny video. And you know what? I'm gonna put the nougat on now. So this should pour on. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. We're like a chocolate factory. That's a playlist that I'm trying to do. I'm speaking to some chocolate factories at the moment to try and get access in there and go along and now a little behind the scenes and see how they make stuff. If that sounds interesting, let me know. But what I'm trying to do is still leave enough so we've got a lip, probably about a half inch lip there, to get the chocolate on there as a real good set. So let's pull that away. And that's actually worked a charm. Right, in the fridge. I don't know about you, Boston, but I think this is going very well indeed and I can't stop pecking on bits of caramel off camera. It's very addictive. I've just got this out and uh, look, this is like springy. This is exactly how I want it. So we've got a nice little bit of a, a level for our chocolate foundations to sit on. And chocolate foundations, they will be, oh my gosh, how cool does this look? <laughs> because this is the bottom. This is what it's all gonna sit on. And I need a bit more. <laughs> I need some more. Right, that's going in the freezer just to help that set. I'm gonna melt another little batch. Ah. Come on now, come on, there we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Cover and encase. Oh my gosh, this has worked amazing. Ah, oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's take it right to the edge. Just wanna make sure that that seal links in with the base. See all those air bubbles coming to the top? 
That's what we want. Level it off. Wow. I've just got to get it in the freezer and we're good. We're good to go, baby. <laughs> Into the freezer for a good half an hour to... Sp what was I going to say? Into the <laughs> into the freezer to set initially, just to get that set on, and then to the fridge for about an hour. Wow, I think this is gonna be worth it. I might not even need another coating on it. All right, that has been in the freezer for half an hour. I was worried I was turning it into an ice lolly, and then in the fridge for an hour, but I'm now bringing it out to room temperature to hope that it actually just comes out of the mold. What do you think, Mrs. B? I think you'll be all right. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? If it looks really bad, I can always pour some more chocolate on top, but I think it's gonna work. I'm going for it. <coughs> Mrs. Barry off camera was like, you lined it, right? No. <laughs> Did you grease it? No. It's kind of like an experiment. It's coming out, I just need to give it a bit of encouragement with a spatula. Ah, oh. right, I've just pulled a little bit away. Oh! oh. Look at you! Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting, I want some! <laughs> Come on, that's amazing! Oh my gosh! Ah, it's ready, it's ripe! Dog's making a funny noise. Amy's getting excited. Should we slice it? Yes. She hasn't even seen what's in this. I hope oh. it's Nick. I hope it's Nick. what's <laughs> left over in the pan. It's going to be there. vegetables. Oh. Come on. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. That's Come amazing. Ah. Oh. All right, I'm going to take a thumbnail picture and then I think we'll have a gobble. I just want to eat some. Uh, you can eat some, go. So I'm really happy with that. It's a slight pink tinge to the marshmallow, but that was just because I just grabbed the first bag I saw. What's the point of making it this big and then cutting it into the size of a normal Snickers? Oh my gosh. Hello. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That is phenomenally good. As a little bit of a bodge, a little bit of a hack that I just chucked together, no grease free paper, no butter. Grease free paper would be all right, but you kind of harm the outer edge, the innocence that chocolate finds its way in the mold. That was just a loaf tin. That was it. Mm -hmm. you, you're still eating? Mm -hmm. Sorry. It was so good. And the peanut butter vibe running through the chocolate, I think that really helps. <laughs> you're still eating. I'm gonna do that thing where I just cut off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, I've eaten until it's all gone. <laughs> right. I'll leave Mrs. B to that. So uh, thanks very much, folks. Uh, my voltage thing, ooh, transformer down thing should be arriving tomorrow. So I will be able to make the fun doodle cheese video, but there we go. Uh, have some fun with that. See what you think. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. 